lightning, strikes in a flash. But slow it down to 10,000 frames a second, and this awesome natural phenomenon looks a bit more complex. These stunning images were captured by researcher Tim Samaras. A lot of good, strong rotation right in here. This electronics engineer puts himself in a storm's path to document extreme weather. Samaras has spent much of his time studying the terrifying force of tornadoes. He and his team crisscrossed the Midwest states in specially designed vehicles. One eye on the road and one eye on the clouds overhead. You get out there and you see some of these storms. It's better than any video game that you ever see. It's better than sitting out there and watching the television because you're watching Mother Nature at work and all the associated dynamics. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Tornadoes, like hurricanes, can be destructive and deadly. Yet amazingly, some years more people in the United States are killed by lightning. Samaras has become increasingly interested in the lightning bolts, which accompany the turbulent atmospheric conditions that spawn twisters. It's an extension of his quest to learn more about extreme weather so that we can know how to react before it strikes. It begins when rapidly rising warm air collides with descending cold air, forming condensation. A thin finger of supercharged energy streaks downward meeting an upward discharge from the Earth. Humans are excellent conductors of electricity because they contain water. Sergeant Mark Pearson, a Maryland police officer, was driving to work when he made a routine traffic stop. Get back in the car and I can see the, the black cloud coming away. I saw the bright light. And then I, I heard a loud crack and then the pain. Usually a car's metal frame protects passengers from lightning, but not in Mark's case. Still, he was lucky. He survived. There you go. Good. Experts say people can never be completely safe in an electrical storm, but there are ways to decrease the odds of being struck. You should get out of swimming pools, get away from isolated trees, get into shelter, get away and drop all metal objects, such as golf clubs and bicycles, and a closed vehicle, your car, metal vehicle, your van or school bus, relatively safe. One thing we should say about lightning, any rule you make, lightning will break it. Tim hopes that by understanding how lightning strikes, it will help us devise better ways to protect potential victims. But lightning happens in a millisecond, far too fast for the human eye to really see, let alone study. Far too fast even for ordinary cameras. So to capture the detail he wants, Tim has built an ultra high powered rig with sophisticated electronics. Armed with five cameras, he can shoot 10,000 frames every second over 400 times faster than a Hollywood film camera. With his camera loaded, Samara sets out to find a thunderstorm. Fortunately, he's a veteran storm chaser. He and his team can spend days, weeks, even months on the road. They monitor reports in search of collisions of hot and cold air high in the atmosphere, the conditions most likely to spawn severe weather. Usually, Tim hunts tornadoes during the day when he can see them in action. All right, off we go. On this mission, he's out at night, 
seeking to capture another elusive prey. The downward tentacles are called stepped leaders. Streams of electrons race to the Earth's surface in a millisecond. The images then capture the return stroke, the electrons racing back up into the sky. Samaras has been able to slow down time and offer new insight into a natural phenomenon that strikes fear and fascination into the hearts of millions. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.